It's days like these, give me a sunny smile. It's days like these, which never pass me by. It's days like these, give me a sunny smile. Just laying low and dreaming of that big old blue sky. Hey! Her granny's old rocking chair Begin to go with him My mama's hair Dusted papa's boots on the porch Grandpa chugging on his feet Pop up and feet is cursing again Just cause some hill better drain It's days like these Give me a sunny smile It's days like these I wish that Hello Sunrise. Sun's just come up. I've had an hour of sleep. Uh, just going out to look for Jonah. Last night, about half past ten, she disappeared off the boat. You think she must have jumped off the back to try to get into the dinghy. And because she was inside the boat, she didn't have a life jacket on. Uh, she went into the water. We think somewhere between Black Rock and the harbour. Because as we came into the harbour, we pulled in the, the line for The line for the um, that was trawling five. Five hooks, which we caught five mackerel on yesterday evening. And when we pulled the line in, the end was missing. It seems quite likely that she's gone in and got caught on the uh, got caught on the line. So she's quite capable of swimming ashore, but there's a big chance 
that she might be injured so we're now going at first light to to scour the, the shoreline that's where we are now so we're going over to Flushing first and making a big arc uh, go around the coast that way and we're going to go across to the other side of the world there to Pendennis Point and going to go along the rocks there Let's see if we can find out. Hopefully somebody's going to ring up and say they go right home. So we're now um, in searching for uh, an hour on the boat. We've searched up the river and now this is the point where we pulled in the lure to find that it was broken. So um, we knew that if she'd gone overboard and got caught in that then she must have been in the water by now so we're going up and down oh well we're just going along the coast now with binoculars having a look to see if she's injured on the uh, on the shoreline it's rocky here so it's easy for her to get in and out and if she's a bit injured licking her wounds or something she might just have bed down last night I don't know told the Coast Guard they wanted to know they went out looking for last night with um, heat-seeking uh, thermal imaging cameras optics and they did this whole coast line so uh, we're gonna do the same coast line then we're gonna go over to the other side to set more so that if she went in when we first um, when we last saw her, then the, the chances is she will have swum over to St Moors, which is much, much closer than over to this side. She always swims to the closest side uh, when she's in the water. So she won't follow me when I'm in the boat next to her. She'll just go to the closest bit of land. So she'll know where the closest bit of land is. There's a good chance, biggest chance, that she's going to be on the St Moors side. And hopefully this morning somebody will pick her up. Fingers crossed. Searched all the way along uh, Pendennis Point, that's what's behind us now, and we're heading over to the lighthouse at St. Paul's. Well, we're now in uh, St. Moors on the other side of the river, the estuary, and uh, we've covered probably 75% of the possible coastline that she could be on. 
just going down the other side of some moors now. And then, um, so we're going in and out of these boats at the moment. And then after we've looked all around here, we're going to go up the other side. I just con contacted the uh, BBC Radio and uh, Radio Cornwall and they said, have we advertised it on social media? We said, yeah. They said, yeah, it's all over it. Which is really great because it means that loads of people are looking for it. So, uh, passing, on the, passing on the vibes. And they might be bringing me back soon and uh, doing an inter interview. So the more people that know she's, she may well be on shore. I'll be looking for her. Keep an eye out. Best chance we've got. We've nearly finished the area to search. And uh, then we'll go back in and wait by the phone, I suppose. Been on live on BBC Radio Cornwall, and uh, they put it all out there, so people are keeping an eye out and passing on the message. And uh, we finished our search now. We've been all around the whole coastline and not found her. So we're going in, gonna have something to eat. And then we're going to go and bring all the vets to see if somebody's picked her up and taken her in, just in case she's, she's hurt. And just wait and hope that the social media does its job and we find her really quick. She's on land. If not, it's with Henry handbags. Doing this video because I've done a video all the way along. Oh. What a lovely man. Somebody's just put something up on the internet that they found a dog in a cave by some moors and everybody flooded on it. And I put some messages up, they put up my number and they just rung me and it's tubes and she's alright. with his children. He's just been playing with his kids. Mention his name, Tom. Tom, yeah. Thanks, Tom. Bless you, Tom. Bless you and your kids. They're going to have some fat ice creams when we get back. We're just going to go over on the ferry now to pick her up.
must be some kind of way out of here And save the joker to the thief There's too much confusion I can't get no relief 